you know that that beginning rift in the game where the guitar is like dar -dar 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 -dar. I think it's every time I hear the riff the guitar riff in Call of Duty after you win a game or before the game whatever and when that guitar riff is I always think of uh, Van Halen's Jamie's crying I don't know if you guys think I think it's I think that's where they got it from I don't know you guys tell me and I think they just changed it a little bit look at this guy <laughs> I psyched him out like I pretend like I didn't see him <laughs> Oh, I got so many good moves. Like, oh, I didn't see you. I just keep running up the stairs. Now you're the dumbass is gonna keep. If you don't shoot, then I know you're gonna. Once you make the move and you start following me, it's over. I got so many moves. But anyways, using the PP90, the El Presador special. I don't. I don't use the ACR for specific reasons. One, the ACR is weak. And, uh, to the PP90, you know, comparative to the FMG9s and the Striker, uh, it just sprays too much. It's too wild. You know, like, you'll shoot all the bullets, and, and then once you're shooting them, then all of a sudden, t you know, you'll get the situation where... You know the gun will just go off, and even if you can control it, it it's it's crazy. The PP90 with rapid fire is like wilder than the FMG9s were before they got fixed. At least you can control them. So that's strange, but so anyway, somebody sent me a message, and they're like, "Yo, fist, every every pellet is 25 percent." So I think it's a little bit less than that, to be honest with you. Because I know that at least four pellets, most of the time, group together and hit you. So that would be like 100%. That would be a kill. So, I don't know. I think it's probably like 17 or 15% for every pellet. That's what I'm thinking. Like 18.5% or whatever it is. That's what I'm thinking. But anyways. I'm using the PP90 because, you know... I was doing new combinations with rapid fire with the SMGs. Basically, you know, I'm just, you know, um, trying to find as much cheese as I can in the game. You know, I've already exploited the strikers and they're fixing those. And uh, the PP90. And I don't know. I guess how I would classify myself is that. You know, people will look at these videos and they'll think that, you know, why are you doing that, Fist? And I'm like, I don't know, I, I christen myself, and I'm sure others have too, like the unofficial beta testers of Call of Duty. I mean, whether you know it or not, like, you know, some, some of the other YouTube commentators who do, like, that point things out, I mean, basically... That's a roundabout way of beta testing and putting their uh, their flaws out in the open for everybody to see. You know, it's not that people on YouTube post the flaws. To, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm, you know, I'm posting these videos so that way, you know, because I'm trying to be cheap or something. You know, I hope you guys understand that. I mean, majority of you do, but the reason I do these videos and like I continuously do do you know because here's the way it works you know I mean it's a very fickle troll situation forms X you know whatever people get upset you know they think that oh you're just you know complaining so I don't even do it anymore so what I do is I just I take the weapons that just have no class and I just run them into the ground until like something gets done with them you know, I don't. I mean, I can play all the all the weapons. Believe me, the only problem is that when you're playing the cheesy weapons all the time, is that you know you're gonna have to relearn weapons that are already balanced. You know, that that's the sad thing. But the thing of the reason why I do it, and I'm not referring to myself, but the point being, and I want you to be clear on it and is that I'm taking 
And this is what I did since day one. I'm going to tell you, this is what I did since day one. I want to explain this to you. You know, the reason that I made a YouTube channel was to show people, you know, things in the game, you know, hoping that the developers would fix them. My whole intentions, and since ever since day one, going back to Battlefield um, Modern Combat 2, is, you know, showing the game and the problems that it had, you know, and, and discussing them. Like, yeah, can you please fix this? But now the community's changed so much, it's like, okay, if you talk about a weapon, you know, you're complaining, so let's start trolling them and sh saying shut the fuck up and blah, 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 and, you know, just play the game, it's a video game, da 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 So now I don't even do that, I don't even complain about it, I just, you know what, I just played the weapon really, you know, a lot, and then people in the comments will go, wow, that weapon needs to be nerfed, it's so horrible. And that's what everybody else does in the community. You know, they'll make out a point that, you know, oh, the RPM, the R, the FMG9 shoot 2,000 RPMs. Hint, hint. What do you think that means? You know, and all the other little subtleties that they post in these videos. But the reason in this particular video that I was using this weapon, I was looking for a good combination. I was looking for a good, you know, combination because I, when I'm rushing, the whole point of this combination that I'm using now is the PP90 with rapid fire, steady aim, assassin, and uh, sleight of hand. And the whole purpose of this is just to rush down on people. What it, you know, what? So a lot of people don't know what rush down means. What, what does rush down mean? So basically, like, let's say you just want to rush down on the other team and shoot them as much as you possibly can. Then you want to have the best two weapons with the highest RPG, RPGs in them. I mean, R, RPMs in them. RPG. I'm shooting RPGs out of my SMG. <laughs> RPMs. So you understand the point. So when I test these things and I show them to you that you can see if you can make them work. There's, a, there's another clear point that I did not follow of my own and that is worry about what's in front of you when you're rushing. Don't worry about anything else. Because if you don't, if you start worrying about everything or else around you, you're gonna get killed more times than that up in the, in front of you. So don't worry about it and keep moving. See, it's the whole thing about that's the whole thing about kills confirmed. You know, people are like, oh, you know, you don't pick up the tags all the time. Well, yeah, I mean, that's obvious reasons. I mean, you want the streaks so that way they can change the tide of the game. You want. I mean, you ever hear of guerrilla warfare? You know what guerrilla warfare is? Is that they don't kill the enemy, they wound them. So that way it slows down the rest of their team. And sometimes what I like to do is I call it guerrilla kill confirmed combat. And that is just leave the tags out there, you know? And it, and it slows down the other team because now when you leave the tags over, when you leave the tags out sometimes, it tells you in that area it's kind of like a cheap UAV if they pick up the UAV then it, you'll get it denied in your screen now if you if they uh, and then you know where they're coming from if you pick them up then you know you get your kill streak but the thing about it is is like you know you can you can set those kill streaks up you can set the tags up so it's it's all in one you know the the mindset of this game is you know, pretty tricky, I'd say. Other than that, I think that um, I think everybody is yearning and earning for more ground war maps and uh, ground war, obviously. But uh, this was my little test with the PP90 and the FMG9s. It seemed like they're working great together after the new patch. Until next time, it's your boy Fizz. Please take the time to rate, comment, subscribe. And I'm out.